The PhD programs in chemistry and biochemistry in the School of Molecular Sciences at Arizona State University are designed to train you to take on the responsibility of leadership in a scientific world where the boundaries between traditional disciplines are rapidly disappearing. The work our faculty and graduate students do requires a deep understanding of fundamental molecular structure, properties, and synthesis, but is aimed at problems that often don't fit into any traditional discipline, but are associated with major societal issues such as energy and sustainability, medicine and health, electronic and nanomaterials, the chemistry of biology, or the environment, or biogeochemistry. What this means is that if you're interested in, for example, a PhD in analytical chemistry, you could learn about traditional separation science, or you could come to ASU and learn how to manipulate individual cells to perform disease detection in a completely new way using biophysics and analytics rather than proteomics or genomics. If you're interested in materials chemistry, for example, you could learn how to synthesize new structures using traditional organic or inorganic methodologies, or you could come to ASU and learn how to build complex multifunctional materials based on molecular origami that self-assemble just as in nature for applications in biosensing and nanoelectronics. If you're interested in structural chemistry, you could train in conventional X-ray crystallography, or you could come to ASU and help to develop the revolutionary new technique of femtosecond nanocrystallography that promises to completely change the course of structural biology. Or at ASU, you can learn how to combine diverse techniques such as high-field NMR, enzymology, and computational biology to characterize dynamic biological systems in action such as membrane proteins that play essential roles in biology and pathophysiology. Our students are also pushing the boundaries of fundamental molecular science. They are performing molecular simulations on the largest scales ever attempted in order to understand energy and proton flow in proteins and are performing electronic spectroscopy at the highest resolutions to understand metal catalyzed reactions. The School of Molecular Sciences is tackling today's grand scientific challenges. In the area of energy and sustainability, ASU faculty and students have built working artificial hydrogenases and molecular systems that use light energy to generate ATP and to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The detailed structure of Photosystem II has been determined, over 50,000 atoms, and ASU researchers have watched with atomic resolution exactly how the water splitting reaction occurs in the reaction center. ASU faculty and students have developed new designer electronic materials that use molecular precursors that allow atom by atom control over structure. They have built molecular logic devices and complex self-assembled nanostructures and nanoarrays with atomic level control of structure and function that act as artificial enzymes and biosensors. At ASU, the molecular basis of disease is being defined with angstrom resolution. The critical protein-RNA interactions responsible for debilitating genetic childhood diseases have been described. The exact ways in which drugs interact with G-coupled protein receptors have been characterized. And the mutation responsible for sleeping sickness has been determined using crystals that are grown in vivo in cells. I encourage you to explore our website, learn about our programs, our students, our faculty, and how ASU can prepare you to take on the grand scientific challenges yourself.